name is Ben Weiland. I'm 29 years old and I'm from Carlsbad, California. I research cold, remote surf spots all around the globe. And I'm also a filmmaker, cinematographer, and so I'll document just the stories of, of how we get there and what we're doing while we're there. I think one of the things that really gets me motivated to look into new places and explore and get out there is just the fact that I live in a really warm place and also a really populated place where there are almost no mysteries in surfing. Well, I first started looking into cold water exploration, cold waves when I was just looking on Google Earth just out of curiosity. I was just really intrigued by the thought that there could be some of the world's best waves in the coldest, most remote places on the planet. And I think when I first started looking into it, I didn't really expect to find much, so I was pretty surprised when I actually did start finding waves. And the first place I really wanted to go to was the Aleutian Islands. I got this email from somebody on one of the Aleutian Islands who ran a cabin up there. So he said, if if we wanted to do it, this was going to be the opportunity to get out there. So we jumped at the opportunity. Um, we went with Alex Gray, Pete DeVries, and Josh Mulcoy. We surfed the first day and were pretty blown away by how good the waves were on the very first day. Our expectations were exceeded. I think preparing for an Arctic surf trip, it's a lot more stressful. Like if you're going to plan a trip to go somewhere warm and tropical, you can bring your board shorts, a towel, and a surfboard. But to go to some of these really remote, cold places, there's so much more stuff that you have to bring just in order to survive. We do as much research as we can and then everybody on the team kind of bounces their ideas off of each other and nobody knows for sure what to expect. The biggest payoff is always going to be when you find an amazing discovery or you just get really good waves and really fun waves. But that's not always the case and for me it doesn't hinge just on that because I'm just as excited to be in some of these environments and experience them for myself and document them and tell the story of what it took to get there and what it was like to be there with everybody and experience it together. For every trip that I've gone on, I've just been trying to improve what I do. The creative aspect of telling those stories and communicating those, and I mean, I personally really love filmmaking from the very beginning planning stages all the way to the very end. It's, I love seeing a project all the way through.